Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. We're going to do a reading for Aries. So we're going to see what comes up. What do we have for Aries for October? This is for October. We just had three cards fall out. We're going to go ahead and take it. What do we have for Aries? Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you. Okay? Dragon. Who? You ready for this? Beware of self-delusion. Dog close up. Pleasure with a close friend. So maybe you're going to be having pleasure with a close friend. I don't know. January. January is prominent. So you could be dealing with somebody that is born in January or you something could, could have happened last January or there's going to be a change in the upcoming January. But it looks like this is ice cold. So I wonder if you're dealing with somebody and I just got cold. If you're dealing with somebody that is cold. Cold, 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 cold. It's like freezing cold. So I don't know. Maybe somebody's went cold on you. I don't know. But I do feel like I, or you're cold, or there's something about being cold because I just got chills. Um, something about the month of January. I don't know. Interesting. I moved in the month of January, but what is January? What is January? And why did I even say that? Some Maybe you're moving. Maybe you're going to be moving in January. I don't know. Something about January. Anyhow, we got two more. Hmm. They will never change. Ever. Ever. So, I don't know. Maybe you're dealing with an ass. It looks like we have an ass there. Looks like, yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Anyhow, and this one fell out, independently owned and operated. So some of you may be becoming independently owned and operated, okay? Or you are independently owned and operated. We have an unrequited love situation here. So somebody is dealing with an unrequited love situation. Um, let's get two of these. Beware of self-delusion. If somebody is being cold, this one fell out, I don't know what it is. If somebody is being cold, perhaps you need to take action. Okay, it feels like somebody is here is really, really, really cold, ice cold. This just came flying out of the deck. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps that you are guided to take. So you are being guided to take some sort of steps. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So some of you are, there's a, there is a love life that is ascending. Okay. Maybe, maybe you're going to get engaged in January. Maybe you're going to get married. I don't know. Um, there could be an engagement that is coming. Beware of self-delusion. You're dealing with something, that cold card, right? This, you're dealing with an ass that is never going to change. Maybe it's time to become independently owned and operated. I don't know. This could be a job. Or it could be a partnership, whatever it is. You're being guided to take your, a new path, to make an effort, to go in a new direction. Interesting. What do we have for Aries? <laughs> the lovers unexpected choice in love so this is about a partnership it is about a union we may have this is like a potential soulmate situation so this is a choice between two options this is kindred spirits this is spirits this is a perfect union it's a perfect match this is a card of choice you're gonna have to make a choice 
This is a healing love. There's also probably a sexual connection here. Falling in love, deepening a bond. We saw that with the engagement card as well. So some of you are going to, I don't know if you're, I don't know what is happening, but I think that you are going to be having pleasure with a close friend. Um, something to do with January. You need to make some sort of effort. I feel like we have soulmates here. May I, may, we really do. I feel like we do. This is a perfect union, but this is a card of consequences and it is a card of choice. So you have to make some sort of choice. This is a card of commitment. This is also a card of shared values. So I feel like you are going to be deepening a bond with somebody that you have shared values with. Could be a Gemini. This is close up and personal. Perfect. Beautiful. This is somebody that you see eye to eye with, that you have a lot in common with. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful connection. <laughs> Anyhow, what do we got? We got two eights. One is upright, one is reverse. But eights are a number of change. Okay, it's time for a change. It's time. The time is now. Go ahead. Go ahead. May require walking away, breaking free from something that you are trapped in, stepping outside of your comfort zone. It feels like there's some mental turmoil here. You may be restricting yourself, uh, confining yourself, reevaluating everything, wanting to leave. You could be leaving. You could be leaving a situation that has been, it's felt like prison. This is escaping prison, you know, escaping. It's making an escape. I feel like you've been held back. Maybe you were held back by fear. This is saying goodbye. I think you've been thinking about it. Maybe you've been thinking about leaving. I feel like you've been taking a lot of time to think about it. There's been a lot of turmoil, a lot of mental turmoil, a lot of fear. Um, did I say something about moving at the beginning? I can't remember if I did, but that's what just came to my mind. Uh, you're dealing with somebody that is ice cold. This person is an ass. They may not, I don't know if they don't want really, they're not really committed. Either way, you're, I feel like you're going to be deepening a bond with somebody. Mmm. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I don't know. But this is somebody that is a hard worker. This could be your energy. But this is hard work. This is stable. This is solid, secure. Um, holding on to your value. I think that you have a lot to offer. Maybe, maybe you are uh, working really, really hard to become successful. This is a hard worker, or this is somebody that you're dealing with, the King of Pentacles, Taurus, male or female, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody that has money. This is, the King of Pentacles is the highest, you know, value, has the most money. This is somebody that um, has obtained financial security, financial wealth, you know, a stable, solid foundation through hard work and perseverance. This is somebody that probably has money in the bank, has a, has a lot to offer. Oh, we got two cards. That's a challenge. The High Priestess and the Nine of Pentacles. The High Priestess is somebody that is gifted, intuitive. You know, this is somebody that has a gift, a spiritual gift. Could, you know, maybe, maybe even a business. Some of you may have the ability to start your own spiritual business. This is an entrepreneur or somebody that already has their own business. Okay, we have the independently owned and operated. I don't know if you're there's a business owner here that has all the skills that they need to become financially secure. Okay, that is somebody that, I mean, the King of Pentacles is typically you know, very financially secure, okay? 
Uh, but this is a gift, okay? This is a spiritual gift. This is like psychic ability, tarot reader, medium, empath, counselor, uh, independently owned and operated both of these cards both of these cards is somebody that the high priestess is very independent and this is independent as well so we have somebody here and the king of pentacles is what is as well so this is all about financial independence there's a gift here we have a very gifted individual that can you know make money off of whatever it is that they are creating okay um, this is living a good life living a very good life being happy um successful hard work paying off so i feel like you have an opportunity a golden opportunity it appears to be a huge opportunity look at it it's huge that's a huge ace of pentacles in that person's hand that is a golden opportunity for long-term success um financial stability you have to listen to your gut Pay attention, pay attention to the signs. Know your value. Be practical. Be grounded. Put in the effort. Judgment reversed. Set nine of cups reversed. Two of wands. Queen of pentacles. You got a perfect match here. King of pentacles, queen of pentacles. This is a match made in heaven. Two very, 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 very hard workers coming together. These two people can build financial security together. This is a partnership. The lovers is a partnership. You're going to be coming together with somebody that you have shared values with. And I don't know if this is a business. It could be a business partnership. Could be, but it could also be love. I mean, the lovers, looks like it's a sexual connection to me. I mean, both those people are naked. You don't have nothing to be ashamed of. You can be yourself. You know, you can be completely yourself. This is, this is business. It's, it's something to do with business. Business and pleasure. Five of Wands, Three of Swords reversed, Four of Pentacles reversed. Sorry, my leg hurts. Anyhow, um, Six of Swords, the outcome card. That's moving on, going to a better place. Time of transition. This is this is moving. It's moving. Some of you are going to a better place. You're moving. Underneath it is the four of pentacles reversed. That's letting go. That is letting go of something you were holding on to. Maybe you were holding on to it for financial reasons. But the four of pentacles isn't a whole lot to hang on to. Okay, you when you could have the ten of pentacles. So I feel like you've been holding on to something. Maybe you were afraid. I do feel like you were afraid with those eights. Okay, I don't know if it's a Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, I feel like you've been dealing with an unrequited love situation here. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is uh, emotionally withdrawn. This person really doesn't give you much love. They may speak of love. They may say, I love you, but those are just words, right? Actions don't live up to it. Anyhow, I feel like you're going to be moving in a new direction. I hear this is moving on. Um, three of swords. Three of swords reversed in your environment. That is uh, leaving the past behind. Focusing on the future. Letting go of something you were holding on to. That has caused you a lot of heartache. Caused you a lot of pain leaving a troublesome situation behind, going to a better place. Somebody's moving, okay? I think the struggle is real. I feel like uh, if we have the five of wands down here, that is that is extremely, uh, it's a power struggle. It's like going back and forth. I feel like you've been really, really, really struggling with making a choice, uh, fighting, you know, competing perhaps. 
I feel like you've been in some sort of competition with another person going back and forth, struggling with change, struggling with letting go. You've been struggling with letting go of a heartbreaking situation. And this per I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that uses emotional blackmail. This person doesn't communicate well. Um, they may be selfish. victim victim mentality and there could be even revengeful you know you may be dealing with somebody that is revengeful that is that is uh oh this person uses their emotions to get what they want you know oh my goodness gracious and i mean i feel like you haven't been grounded i feel like you need to be practical you need to be realistic you, and i think it's time i think it's time for you to maybe you haven't been following your heart i feel like you have been there's unrequited love i mean we had that card i think that you've been dealing with somebody that hasn't been reciprocating the love maybe they don't want commitment i feel like you have somebody over here the else that you have a deep soul bond with this is definitely a perfect match. King and Queen of Pentacles in the Lover's card. This is definitely a perfect match. I feel like this is a spur of the moment decision. I think that, that you are going to be making a spur of the moment decision. Right above you is the Two of Wands. That is your spur of the moment decision. You've been at a crossroads. I feel like you're going to be stepping into new territory. This is expanding yourself. I think that you've thought about it. I feel like your intuition has been guiding you. I think that you've been getting some messages. I feel like you're wanting something more. I think maybe you're starting to realize your goals as well. I feel like you're starting to become more spiritually in tune with your desires and your needs. I feel like you've been in an unhappy, this is unhappy, wishing that you were never in the situation that you're in. I feel like there's been some sort of creative blocks. I feel like you may have bitten off more than you can chew in the past, because this is in the past position. This is miserable. This is unhappy. This is devastating. I feel like uh, there's been some mistakes that have been made. There could be even some embarrassment for getting yourself involved with this. I feel like you've been unable to receive the love. You have not been receiving the love that you thought that you were going to get from somebody. This is a lack of inner happiness, no wish fulfillment. Um, I also feel like your self-esteem and your self-confidence has dwindled because you're dealing with somebody that doesn't give you the love that you need. And when you don't get the love that you need, uh, that's what happens. Your confidence and your self-esteem dwindles because you feel like it was you. You feel like you're doing something wrong. That's how they use their emotions. It's kind of like a narcissistic behavior kind of thing. You know, they make you feel like you're not good enough, you know, and then you, feel, you really feel like you're not good enough. Um, they withdraw. They withdraw. They withdraw they, their emotions from you, and it makes you feel like you did something wrong. But anyhow, I feel like you're going to be moving on from that bad choice. I feel like right now you're you're uh, reevaluating. I do feel that with the Eight of Swords that we had as well. I feel like there's poor health here. I feel like there's depression. Um, there's dishonesty as well. I feel like. For some of you, you, you've been having a hard time making a decision, finalizing something. Maybe you felt like you wouldn't be accepted or you weren't adequate. I mean, that's what judgment is, lack of acceptance. You know, it's like a, that is, it's lack of acceptance. There could even be self-deception here, you know, or self-doubt. And I, or you may have even received poor advice or poor counsel from somebody. You know, I feel like it's this Queen of Cups in reversed. Um, I'm not sure. It could, uh, it could be a Scorpio, but it could also be a Pisces or a Cancer. I feel like um, there's a need for you to uh, make a decision. And I feel like you've been indecisive about not being accepted elsewhere. Because I feel like whoever you were dealing with made you feel like you weren't in, that you weren't adequate or that you weren't going to be accepted or that, I don't know, maybe nobody wanted you or... I don't know if that's the truth or what, but I feel like I feel like somebody had, and I don't know if it's a parent, and it could be a parent, it could be parents, but it could also be a lover. Somebody has made you feel like you're not good enough. This is an ass. It's a jackass. Anyhow, I feel like you're starting to stabilize. I feel like you're starting to realize you're start, you've been going through a period of spiritual awakening. You're also dealing, maybe you're dealing with somebody that's very spiritual, that's 
that's helping you go through this awakening. I feel like you do have a spiritual connection here. I feel like you're you're becoming more practical. You're becoming more realistic. I feel like your uh, your challenge is to listen. Is, is to go within and listen to your gut, listen listen to your desires, listen to your needs, be practical, be grounded, be real with yourself, be honest with yourself. If you want to leave a situation, you need to leave it. You need to find your mental strength to leave it. You need to master your emotions and leave it. Okay, if you're ready to go, go. Stop letting fear hold you back. Those first two eights, I feel like it's time for you to move on. You want to move on. You've been wanting to move on for a while. It's like you're being guided. You are being guided. You are being guided to move on, but there's fear because that's what the eight of swords is. And the struggle is real. The struggle is re real with this five of wands. I feel like you're you're really struggling for some reason. And I feel like you're fighting with somebody. And I feel like maybe, I don't know if you thrive on competition. And that's, that, is an, that is an Aries trait, okay? You know, maybe it's time to just give up. Maybe it's time. To, I mean, it hurts. I mean, it hurts. I mean, who wants to play tug of war all the time? I mean, that shit hurts. And so does the three of swords. So I feel like you've been, it's like you've been engaging. You've been engaging in this game, right? You've been playing this game. Why? 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 You like to hurt yourself? You like it? You like it? Do you like to play games? You like it? I feel like this is disappointing with the Queen of Cups reverse and the Nine of Cups reverse. It's emotionally disappointing to make a decision to leave something behind that you invested in. I feel like you invested in something for quite some time, and I, but I feel like you've been ignoring the truth with that judgment reverse. That's not accepting the truth. I don't want to believe the truth. I don't want to see the truth. I don't want to accept the truth. I, I, but, you know, the truth is the truth. You, can't, you can only deny the truth for so long. There's poor health here. I feel like your health has declined. And I feel like you have, in the two of wands with the lovers, that's a, that's a choice. You have to make a choice. You have to make a choice to step into that unknown territory. I do think that you're going to be. I think that you are. I think you're going to be going to someplace else. I think you're going to be, some of you are going to be moving. You're going to be letting go of something that you were holding on to. Uh, maybe just because it was fed your secure insecurities because that's the four of pentacles in that position in reversed. It's like letting go of your insecurities, right? Opening up, going, 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 letting go of your fear. I feel like you've been suffering and you've been suffering for quite some time. I don't know if it's been like three years or longer. Um, maybe three to five years, something like that. But anyhow, I feel like it's time for you to uh, definitely move on. Three of Swords, Reverse, it's heartache, it's heart pain. It is a painful separation. Um, I feel like in your, well, in your future, we have the Queen of Pentacles. That is somebody that is loyal, somebody that is solid, somebody that is committed, somebody that is hardworking. This is somebody that has skills that can, that is, you're going to be working with somebody that you have definite shared values with. This is somebody that uh, is very de devoted, devoted to family, devoted to the home, very domestic, very down to earth, laid back, focused on money, you know, focused on financial growth. very domesticated so you, and I feel like this is somebody that you have a lot of shared I think it's an earth sign obviously Taurus Virgo Cap, Capricorn because we have the king and pentacles and the queen of pentacles if it's not an earth sign it is somebody that is uh, very hard working and has the skills to grow things this person work 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 whether it's working on the business, working on the home, working working in the yard, this person is does it all. Okay, this this is it's all about and there's romance in the air here as well. I just noticed these roses. Some of you may be moving in together with somebody. Cause we saw that we saw that card, that engagement card, commitment, stepping it up to the next level. 
or you're just expanding you're going someplace else and, and this could be a job it definitely could be a job letting go of something that really didn't give you that much because it's only the four of pentacles we have this we have we have so many pentacles after that i mean you want the four of pentacles or you want the ten of pentacles what's it gonna be I mean, you want just enough to get by or you want just a little or do you want to have it all? The choice is yours. This is about, I mean, you can have love and stability. What's it going to be? Some of you may be leaving behind. I don't know if it's leaving behind a job or a home. Maybe you invested in it, you know, whatever. I feel like you're going to be receiving an offer that is very real, that is very stable, that is very solid, that brings you abundance. Some of you, may, this may even have to do with an inheritance. There could be a change. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles is, has something to do with inheritance or money, an increase of money. But I feel like the, but that is a challenge, okay? There's, you are being challenged to take action right now. Listen to your gut. If you want to see the increase, you're going to have to work for it. You're going to have to do something. You may have to make a move with that Six of Swords. And you're going to have to master your emotions, if you've been thinking about leaving a situation and you've been held back by fear, just go. Just go. You're going to be connecting with somebody that is a perfect match for you. But you're being guided to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. And if that means that you have to become independently owned and operated from whatever partnership it is that you're working, that you're with right now, then so be it. Do you want great love or do you want to have just a little? You know, do you want to have a little bit of money? Do you want to have a little bit of stability? Or do you want to have that perfect union? The choice is always yours. But there is definitely self-delusion here. There is some sort of self-delusion. I feel like you have a deep spiritual connection here with somebody. Um, and you ha you're going to have to make a choice. It's an unexpected choice in love. And it does require le letting go of a heartbreaking situation and stepping into unknown territory and leaving the past behind. The past hurts behind. I feel like uh, there's some sort of burning here. Maybe there's even heartburn. There's heartburn over letting go. You know, there's heartburn. It's like burning. I feel like you also have a burning desire for something more. But playing it safe is part of the equation. Okay, you're going to have to step outside of your safety zone. Um, I do feel like you're going to be moving on from a bad choice. And you may be moving in with somebody. Or you're moving on to a new job. You're definitely moving. This is a time of transition. Okay, the outcome card is the Six of Wands. This is a rite of passage. Six, did I say Six of Wands? I meant to say Six of Swords. But this is Vic, Six of Wands is victory after sorrow. Okay? It is public recognition. It's getting support. Okay? But anyway, I do believe that you're going to be going to a better place. You're going to be leaving something behind that has caused you a lot of waves. It's caused you a lot of turbulence. This is traveling taking the next step on the path to recovery, it really is. This is steering out of a troublesome situation, leaving it all behind, it really is. It's dark. It's from darkness to light. It's like you're coming out of a dark situation and you are headed towards serenity, peace. You know, it's beautiful over there. You're headed toward, this is like headed towards the light. You're headed to a beautiful place where there's, where the grass is green, you know, and it's just beautiful. Where there's no darkness. You're, you, yeah, you're, you're definitely headed towards something that is much 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 better so there's going to be movement this month some of you may be becoming independently owned and operated it could be a spur of the moment decision but i feel like you've been thinking about it for a while now good luck <laughs>